Welcome to Valuation of Bonds, Part 2. This is the second in the series of five videos on valuation of bonds. This problem is from the fundamentals of corporate finance, and the number is 719. We are going to compare the effect of interest rate changes on two bonds. We have bond SEM, which has shorter maturity, whereas bond Dave has a longer maturity. The par value of bond SEM is $1,000, and the par value of bond Dave is also $1,000. Both bonds have a coupon rate of 6.5% paid semi-annually. The current price of bond SEM is $1,000, and the current price of bond Dave is also $1,000. That means the yield to maturity for both bonds is the same as the coupon rate, or 6.5%. Bond Sam matures in three years, whereas bond Dave matures in 20 years. We can see that time remaining to maturity is the only difference between the two bonds. We need to calculate the price of the bonds when the yield to maturity rises. We also need to calculate the price of bonds when the yield to maturity falls by 2% to 4.5%. Here's the timeline for bond SAM. The par value is $1,000. The coupon payment is 6.5% of 1,000, which equals $65 annually or $32.50 semi-annually. To find the present value, we are going to discount the cash flows by 8.5%, which represents a rise in the yield to maturity of 2%. The bond matures in three years or six semi-annual periods. Let's calculate the present value of bond SAM using a financial calculator. First, we are going to clear the time value of money worksheets. So we press second, clear TVM. We have three years left to maturity, which means six semi-annual periods. So we enter six for N. The yield to maturity has risen by 2%. That means it has gone up from 6.5 to 8.5%. So 8.5 is going to be the IY. The payment is $32.50. This is the coupon payment every six months. The par value or the face value of the bond is $1,000. That's going to be a future value. And we need to make sure the reset payments per year equals two because there are two coupon payments every year. Now we press compute, present value, and it comes out to $948. We repeat the calculator steps to find the present value by discounting the cash flows at 4.5%, which represents a drop in the yield to maturity of 2%. And the present value comes out to 1055.54. Here is the timeline for bond Dave. The par value is $1,000. The coupon payment is 6.5% of 1000 which equals $65 annually or $32.50 semi-annually. To find the present value, we are going to discount the cash flows by 8.5%, which represents a rise in the yield to maturity of 2%. This bond matures in 20 years or 40 semi-annual periods. With the values shown in the table, we find the price of the bond to be $867.06. Next, by changing the discount rate to 4.5%, we calculate the price to be 
$1,159.64. Going back to bond SAM, when the interest rates rose by 2%, the price dropped to $948 or by 5.2%. When the interest rates fell by 2%, the price increased from $1,000 to 1055.54 or by 5.55 percent for bond day a two percent rise in interest rates results in the price drop of 13.29 percent and a two percent drop in interest rates results in the price increase of 15.96 percent we can extend our analysis to include several yields to maturities and chart the resulting prices for both bonds as shown here. Now we can plot the values for a graphical view of sensitivities of bond prices to interest rate changes. It becomes immediately clear that the slope of bond div is much steeper, indicating greater sensitivity than bond SAM. The point of intersection simply represents that the price of both bonds is $1,000 when the yield to maturity is 6.5%. That brings us to the concept of interest rate risk. This is the risk that bondholders face from fluctuating interest rates. The interest rate risk depends on how sensitive a bond's price is to interest rate changes. All other things being equal, the longer the time to maturity, the greater the interest rate risk, as we saw for bond Dave. This is because a large portion of a bond's value comes from the $1,000 face value. The present value of the $1,000 isn't affected much by a small change in interest rates if the $1,000 is to be received in near future as in bond SAM. However, compounding a small change in the interest rates for 20 years can have a significant effect on the present value as in bond DAVE. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and feel free to provide comments and suggestions.